The plinth beam is an RCC member which separates the superstructure and the substructure and acts like a tie beam that keeps columns, walls connected. The superstructure is a structure which lies above ground level that includes columns, beams, slabs, masonry walls, etc. And, substructure is a structure that lies below ground level includes the foundation. Importance of plinth in house construction. 1. To carry masonry load at ground floor level. Plinth beams are designed to carry the dead weight of the masonry wall, brick block wall above it on the ground floor level. 2. To retain backfilled soil. Houses are constructed usually 150 to 300 mm above the adjacent road levels. The plinth will act as a retaining structure for the compacted soil used to fill the void from foundation level to the top of the plinth. 3. To control, avoid differential settlement. Foundations may be subjected to differential settlement in case the soil below is not compacted properly. A differential settlement will cause cracks in the masonry walls. The plinth beam is an integral structural member and also helps in reducing the differential settlement in the structure. 4. To act as a tie beam. The load carrying capacity of columns also depends on the slenderness ratio. The slenderness ratio is derived from an unsupported length of the column to the cross-sectional area of the column. If the higher the length of the column higher will be the slenderness ratio which decreases the load carrying capacity of the building. So as to decrease the effective length of column tie beams are provided and in this case, if the foundation is very deep then the RCC plinth beam is must provided. For foundations less than or equal to 6 feet, the plinth also acts as a tie beam. Ideal height of a plinth in residential building. The plinth level has to be above the adjacent road level so that water will not enter your house in the rainy season. Sometimes, local municipalities during repairing or constructing roads re-carpet the existing roads without removing old road strata. In such conditions, the adjacent properties may go below ground level which is not good both for practical purposes and for vastu science. To prevent drainage water or stormwater from entering the house from outside, the plinth is constructed in such a way that the top of the plinth is sufficiently above the road level. If you construct the plinth too high above the road level, then the adjacent parking area level will also increase causing difficulty for driving from the road. If the access road to the plot is temporary, not permanent, then it may have opted as future road construction will reduce the initial opted plinth level in which only three to four stairs are required to reach the plinth level and we can easily drive bikes, cars to parking, and even during rainfall, it will protect property from storm and drainage water. Due to these problems plinth height should keep very carefully neither too high nor too low. The ideal plinth height is 300 mm to 600 mm above the permanent adjacent road level. You also need to calculate the economics while deciding on the height of the plinth. In case your land level is too low the cost of substructure will increase. Below are given affiliate links of some products in the description by me, where you can see them and purchase if you like them. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For getting more useful and interesting information to subscribe to the engineer AJ Lard's channel, How to Make Home.